Are Republicans in key battleground states trying to purge minority voters by using common ethnic names? We're talking to the investigative reporter who has the story. Black Girls Code introduces programming and technology to a new generation of coders, our young black girls, hence Black Girls Code. Founder Kimberly Bryant will join us. Also, former drug dealer and pimp turned preacher shares his amazing story of transformation in his new book. Also, it's Wild and Out Wednesday. You know our comedians are ready to cut up. All that and more coming up next on News One Now, right here on TV One. It's a potential voting scandal that could change the course of the midterm elections. An Al Jazeera American investigation has un uncovered a possible anti-voter fraud campaign launched by 27 state officials, mostly Republican. They may be using a computer matching naming system that targets common black, Hispanic, and Asian American names. Investigative reporter Greg Palace brought it to light. Here's the type of matching that they do. Vincent Hardy Williams voted in Georgia. Vincent H. Williams voted in Virginia. Okay. So they said that that's the same guy. And how do they know that that's the same person? And I sit as the minority leader of the House of Representatives. This information has never been presented to the House of Representatives. I think it's completely unreasonable. Joining me right now is Al Jazeera investigative reporter Greg Palace, who's on Skype via New York, and also on the panel, Angela Rye, principal and CEO of Impact Strategies, Robert Trainum, MSNBC political strategist, and Kim Brown, host of the Kim Brown Radio Show. Greg, uh, so walk us through this. Uh, how are, are they kicking names out? Are they uh, not allowing them to vote? Exactly how is this working? They're not giving us the full story. In fact, we had a, uh, we challenged the 27 states to give us their list. If you vote twice in the same election, two different states, you committed a felony crime. They say that 7 million Americans have committed this crime, half a million of them in the state of Georgia. They finally, I got three states to relent under legal threat to give us the lists. For example, in Georgia, I'm looking at uh, this, by the way, is a typical list. And if you look at the names I'm showing you, there's uh, Billy Ray Jackson voted in Georgia, and they're saying that that's the same guy who voted in Virginia named Billy Manuel Jackson Jr. in Virginia. They're saying that those two people with different middle names, one's a junior, one's not, are the same person committing a felony crime. They're both subject to losing their vote. In Virginia alone, as of last year, they've already knocked off 40 one thousand voters on this accusation and, well, but, but Greg, and here's, hundreds it, of thousands more are, are targeted Greg, it's as if they don't understand that you can you can be roland martin in one state and that could be a roland martin in another state uh, there is by the way <laughs> i course, mean hell i mean you can type it in facebook and come up with more than one person with the same name and here's the trick for example, yeah, you're right. John Jacksons, there are 86,020 John Jacksons in the United States. On this list, nearly 2 million of the names have mismatches of middle name. There are thousands and tens of thousands of people mismatched as junior and senior. Father and son are listed as the same person. I went to North Carolina and said, have you, have you arrested anyone? The state hired an FBI agent to arrest these double voters. They have 190,000 people that they're beginning to remove from the voter rolls. Mm -hmm. I said, well, it's a crime. Why don't you arrest them? And they said, well, that's not so easy. I said, you have their names, addresses, social security numbers, phone numbers, signatures. How difficult is it, is it to find these double voters? The answer is, it's just people who have the same name. And here's the real trick. It's not random. We analyzed the list with experts. We have the names. An artifact of slavery is that African Americans are 80% more likely to have a common name than white Americans. So what you're doing is you're picking up black Americans, you're picking up names like David Lee, thousands, thousands of David Lees. They're not all one voter. Those are uh, Chinese Americans, Asian Americans, Rodriguez, Hispanic Americans. You know how many people are named 
Jorge Rodriguez. And so what we have is a common name hunt, and they know that this is going to knock off hundreds of thousands of African Americans, Asian Americans, and Hispanics. They know that they're already starting to purge of tens of thousands of people. It's really going to hit in 2016, and it's going to be heavily, heavily uh, cutting into the uh, to the minority vote. I want to go to my panel here. This is this is what I talked about before <clears throat> about sophisticated voter suppression sure. to just simply remove folks without any pretense, without any reason, by saying, "Oh, well, matches this from another state. Surely it must be the same person." It's not, it's crazy. And it's a classic form of purging the rolls. And I think what makes this all the more egregious, Roland, is we know that just last summer, the Supreme Court came out with this ruling that essentially gutted Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act because they, they removed Section 4. Section 4 is no longer constitutional. The formula of Section 4 is no longer constitutional. So you have all of these practices now and the people behind them who are emboldened. We've seen this from all of the voter ID laws and the other suppressive tactics that have been used just before this election. There are literally cases still before courts, and election day is on Tuesday. It's, it's horrible. Jose Rodriguez and John Brown are the two most common names in the ethnic minority uh, population. Jose Rodriguez is the most common name in Latino uh, circles, and John Brown is in African American circles. What's very simple here is that all we need is just a valid photo ID. You need a valid photo ID to purchase alcohol. You need a valid photo ID to get on an airplane or even on a bus. In every single state in this union, a valid photo ID is free. There is no cost whatsoever for Where? that. That's not Where? true. So That's true. That's in not every true. single state, a valid photo ID is free. Like if, what? If, if, you go, if you go to state gov, if in fact you per, put, and I did this last night, so please do this. If you go to every single state, photo ID is free. A driver's license or something like that you have to pay for. But a valid photo ID is free. My point is no, 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 hold on, hold on. But my point, no, no. this is about scrubbing people. This is nothing to do with so, ID. This is about taking so my out point. common names. This is about taking out common. And by the way, write in uh, John Brown. Go to the Al Jazeera site. Write in your name if you have a common name and find out whether you are on the million names, the one million names we have from Georgia and Virginia. You will probably find your name right there. You'll if you're Jorge Rodriguez, you're going to find that you are a what they call a suspected duplicate stand to lose your right. And that to type of behavior is despicable and it should not be and it should not stand in America. But Every it is person, happening right now in so America point, so and has been going back at I least two election point. cycles. Please. No, please. Go ahead. In 2012 in the state of Florida, Governor Rick Scott there found 186,000 people on the voter rolls that he attempted to purge. Right. This past April, the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals in Atlanta ruled that that practice was illegal. So out of 186,000 people identified on the Florida rolls, they only found 85 people who were actually non-citizens. And when we harken back to the 2012 uh, Republican um, sort of rallying cry about we want our country back, this is exactly what they mean. They want our country, they want their yeah, country yeah. back, so to speak, to make Make sure that people of color's voices are precluded from the polls, and this behavior has been not only increasing, but as you said, it's disgusting. One time, one second, Robert. You want you to finish your point. When we come back. Uh, you can see your na if your name is on that list and read Greg's story at, at uh, um, uh, America.com, AlJazeera.com. So uh, again, Al Jazeera America. The two-part exp expose airs on America Tonight, hosted by Joey Chin on Al Jazeera America. Check it out tonight and tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And again, we'll have the website in a bit. Greg, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thanks a bunch. I'm going to come back with more on this topic with my panel. Also, folks, uh, we'll deal with the issue of the midterm elections later in the show. Of course, Black Girls Code right here on News One Now, as well as book author. We went from pimp to preacher to now author. We'll talk to him about his amazing story. Nine after the hour, this is News One Now on TV One. You got something to say about our News One Now discussion? Hit us up on Twitter at News One, also at Roland S. Martin. You can also visit us on our Facebook page. Also, listen to us 24-7 on the web at NewsOne.com. Stay tuned because we have more topics you care about and more folks you want to see. As always, information is power right here on News One Now. All right, folks, welcome back to News One Now. I'll go back to our panel, Angela Rye, Robert Trandum, Kim Brown. We're talking about this whole issue in terms of voter suppression. Robert, you, you mentioned a particular site. Here's the deal. I'm, I'm looking at right now 
uh, the, the Texas voter ID law. And it says, here's a list of the acceptable forms of voter ID. Texas driver's license issued by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Texas election identification certificate issued by DPS. Texas personal identification card issued by DPS. Texas concealed handgun license issued by DPS. United States military identification card containing the person's photograph. United States citizenship certificate containing the person's photograph. United States passport. Now, what you laid out, the reason that's not true is because in many of these states, they'll, they have passed the laws that said not only in order to get the so-called free ID, you need to have a birth certificate, but not just a birth certificate from the Bureau of Vital Stats. It has to be the birth certificate with the raised seal. And so, so all of a sudden, so what happens is you got to pay for that. Then you have to pay to go into the office. One of the problems in Texas is that you don't have some DPS offices in 100 miles from where somebody lives. So, Roland, here's my point, and just as just a simple question. How do, we val how do we validate that we say who we say we are? How do we do that in this country? If it's so if you don't, if, hold on. If you don't have an ID, how do I just come up and say, you know what, I'm Mickey Mouse, I'm a registered Democrat, and I want to vote in this election? Well, first of all, as when, when I vote, I either have my, uh, my driver's license. Okay. And your voter registration card. And your voter registration card. Do you have to pay for that? No. Okay. So hold on, no. Robert. But that's and that's, not, and that's, that's issued by the state, is it not? No. That, that's, that, that, but it's also besides the point. So when I just went to early vote in Maryland, they went through a series of checks. I didn't have to show my ID, mm -hmm. but what they did ask me is uh, verify your address for me, verify your date of birth. Those are things that you can do affirmatively that don't cost voters any money. What we should not do in a position where we have regular earnings and we're fine and it's easier to get to a DMV or an MVA like it's called in Maryland, we should not impose restrictions on voters who are trying to exercise their franchise where the laws and the rules are all over the place and at the last minute. That is and, my and biggest problem with that. If we eventually want to move to a system of voter ID where there's a national ID and everybody can get it for free, fine. But, but right Kim, now that's Kim, not where we are. Kim, here's the other issue. Here's the other issue. And this is why whenever this comes up and I talk to Republicans and conservatives, I explain to them, voter suppression goes beyond the ID. Right. See, see what Greg, did, what, what their investigation, that's voter suppression. In North Carolina, there's an early voting, there's an early voting location on the campus of Appalachian State. Mm -hmm. 18,000 students mm -hmm. there. The Republicans in North Carolina deliberately removed the early voting location from that campus to a location that's far away that's not as accessible why because hmm those 18,000 students many of them voted democrat that's voter suppression and, and, and eliminated and early seen voting day sim similar tactics employed in Wisconsin in Ohio as well and when we talk about what this ID system is about now it's about keeping people away from the polls it's about discouraging the it vote is not voter and, fraud. And, and suppressing the vote oh. exactly because when we talk about in Florida 186 people flagged 85 people identified in the state of Texas since the year 2003 20 million votes cast I believe the state of Texas have only prosecuted 20 people or less than 100 for voter fraud. This is not a problem. And if we're trying to so-called protect the integrity of the elections, actually what you're doing is making the integrity of the elections become more into question by excluding literally hundreds of thousands of people in order to identify a handful that are actually doing something wrong. Here's the other thing. Roland read the list of acceptable forms of ID. Please note that a gun license, what is a, the gun? Yeah, um, a Texas concealed handgun license. Concealed handgun license is permissible. You know what's not on this list? College ID. That's exactly right. In fact, in Georgia, they allow, in Georgia, they allow for, if you go to a state school in Georgia, mm -hmm. uh, you can use your student ID because it's a state institution. Well, Texas said, well, forget that. We, we, we're not even going to take it from a state university. The, the, the thing with that, what's here, and, and I don't care, and, and I, I have, I've asked numerous Republicans to show me or to disprove this to me. They keep talking about voter fraud. But when you, if so, so let's just say voter ID is all about voter fraud. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, explain to me the other voter suppression. Explain to me the moving of early voting locations. Explain to me, explain to me in Georgia where well, they tried to cut early voting from yeah. 28 to six days. Those explain to me not vote, not allowing voting on Sunday, mm -hmm. like like is that like is a big of a difference from Saturday when all of a sudden no 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 you can't vote on Sunday. Sure. And explain to me why we've had record turnout in the past two elections, mm -hmm. but all of a sudden oh no we got to change some stuff. Robert, no, go, ahead. Don't, don't Robert go ahead. Robert, go ahead. Robert, go ahead. Robert, go ahead. Certainly. 
So, Roland, what you just described is despicable. So, moving, moving voting booths... If it's despicable, it's then, why are Republican legislatures repeatedly passing such laws? I can't speak to that because I'm not a Republican state legislator. I can only speak for myself. And to answer your question, number one, it's despicable. What I believe what Republicans are looking at, they probably look back in 2008, and they see that ACORN did certain things in the uh, in the presidential election. The Obama campaign... One second. Was ACORN... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I hold on. Hold on. I got a question, though. Can I finish my point? But you mentioned ACORN. Because it's an example. Were, were they caught? Yes, they were. Hold on. Were yes, they, they caught were. under existing yes. law? Yes, they were. So if the, the existing law caught ACORN, doesn't it mean the existing law was effective? Yes. Okay, so why all the new laws? That's a good question. Because the writing the is on the wall, okay? We saw the <laughs> demographics the in, like in, in 2012. We saw over 90-plus African-Americans vote Democrat, over 80%-plus Hispanics vote for Democrat, over 70-plus Asian-Americans voted Democrat. This is what's happening. And you know what? The Republicans are screwing themselves, not only with minority voters, but with young college students as well. Because, because they're so screwing Kim, them. Because so they're Kim, not going to forget right. this as Robert, they get ahead. older. So Kim and Angela make a very good point. Look, America is browning more and more brown brown people are voting Democrat. The numbers don't lie. I'm not going to sit here and try to argue that that, that sure. doesn't make sense. The question becomes, and it just goes back to a simple point that no one simply can answer, is we have certain laws in the books that says, look, if in fact you say who you say, prove it. Just prove it. That's I all. told you how I proved if it I when I went to my If I my point, I, I didn't interrupt you. I'm sorry. Can, can I we just, just be like respectful? This. Oh, well, go ahead. You, no. You, you, the floor is you. Go ahead. Well, then I'm going to change the subject to Georgia. So in Georgia, I want to know why a Republican Secretary of State purge or is, has, it refuses to process in a timely manner 40,000 plus new voter registrations. And again, Kim, I think it goes back to the, the last point. So I'll leave it there. Robert, final point. Every single person in this country should be allowed to vote. No person should be vote, should be discriminated against. No person should be suppressed because of they say who they say they are. The simple question is, is if in fact you can buy a pack of cigarettes or perhaps maybe even some alcohol or get on a train or a plane and have a valid state voter ID, I don't, our, our state ID, I'm not exactly sure why you can't have but actually, again, a valid but, ID. But again, with, Robert, with as a fact, vote. you actually don't need a state issue ID to even get on a plane. But guess what? Getting on a plane you don't, is you don't not need my it. constitutional you need right. Them, Being you don't need able it. to what, cast what a need? vote is my constitutional so, right, so not you getting can, you, on an airplane. You so can actually, you, you can, if, you do, if you do not have your uh, driver's license, I've done it. If you have another form of ID, a Costco card, a Sam's card, another card that has your photo on it, you get on the plane. And guess what? And, uh, and I got to answer that question. That happened to me actually last week when I was going through Dulles Airport. I forgot my driver's license. I had a Costco card. He got The man said, I can take your Costco card. I said, tell me why. He said, because the stringent uh, ID laws on the books, Costco actually adheres to. Costco verifies that you, in fact, is a, or is an American uh, citizen. Actually, you know so what? Therefore, I, actually, so that, I, that's, actually, that's exactly my Costco the card, I ain't have to show ID. I just simply signed the form. I took a picture. But guess what? I, I just took a picture. But guess what Costco does? I'm just saying. So you you, you, know, you throw out these things. Well, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm just, I, no, 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 no. My whole point. But you keep using train. I've never shown I need to get on the so, train. But can, never. I've never, never shown one to get on the train. Can we? Can, can we still? Can we do another second? Let me go to Amtrak.com. You can go to Amtrak.com all you want to. But when I'm coming up, I'm talking to Black Girls Code. So y'all type one second. I saw coming up next right here, folks. On News One Now on TV One.